All right, this video is a very quick uh, nuts and bolts of what is a logarithm and how do you handle them. Um, maybe I should start with uh, what I think I'll start here with is letting you know, first off, right off the bat, that a logarithm is an exponent. That's all it is, okay? Remember that. That's the, that's the heart of this, of this lesson right here. A logarithm is simply an exponent. <coughs> And what you've probably seen throughout your algebra career so far is you've seen, um, be able to use a clean sheet of paper here, you've, you've probably seen a lot of different um, polynomial functions, all right? Um, you know, something like, uh, you know, your good old, how about your good old quadratic, something like x squared minus, you know, 5x plus 7. I don't know, I'm just making something up here. So you have probably seen, um, <coughs> the variable, in this case x, lined up down here in what's called the base, right? So this is this is the base and that's the exponent. Most people know that already. And so what we've what we've been playing around with for, for quite a while um, is the variable is in the base here. The same same thing here. Look, this is the base and that has an exponent of one if you don't see one. So what you haven't seen, I'm guessing, at least not a whole lot, is how about a function where instead of the base having the variable, maybe we'll put the uh, you know a number like say three down in the base, and we'll put the exponent. Right, the exponent here is going to have the is going to have the variable. So variable. There we go. So this is this is kind of funky here. Maybe you have seen this. Maybe you haven't. I don't know. Um, this time instead of the again the variable being down here where it normally is, this time the variable is up in the exponent. So there are times when you want to isolate and you want to find out what that exponent is, what that variable is, and uh, because it's up in the exponent, there's no way to really get at it. You know, if, you want, if I wanted to know what x is here, I could just square root, right? The opposite of square ring is square root, and I can get x all by itself. But how do I get x all by itself when it's up in the exponent? Well, that's where logarithms come in, okay? So let me show you this as well. Um, exponential form and log form. All right, so what I'm going to show you right now is really, really important as far as logarithms are concerned. If you want to understand logarithms, you've got to understand what I'm going to show you right now. Um, and I want you to know when, when you see the word log, it, it really is just short for logarithm, OK? Um, here, take a look at this. Let's say I have some base. We'll call it b. And b is being raised to some exponent. Um, I don't know. We'll call it um, we'll call it c. I don't know. Or maybe how about no, I can't use e because that's a, that's an actual number in in uh, math. So we'll, we'll just say b is raised to some exponent c. All right, and that's going to give us some answer here. Uh, we'll call it a for answer. All right, there we go. So if b this this is our base right here. Let me just point out what's, what's going on here though. So b is the base, c, hey, you know c is the exponent. All right, and I'm going to call a right here, I'm going to call this thing on the other side the uh, answer part. Okay, I'm going to call it the answer part. So in other words, if, if b was, say, um, if b was 2, right, if our base was 2, and it was raised to the third power, that's our exponent, you know 2 to the third power is simply 8. 8 is the answer, okay? So when you see something like this, this is, this is what, uh, what we call exponential form, okay? Well, we're going to change this exponential form. I'm going to rewrite it using a log. And so let me show you how this works. So if we want logarithmic form, we start with the word log. That's simple enough, okay? And then as a subscript, right, this down here, guys, is going to be the, uh, um, it's going to be a subscript, okay? In other words, it's not an exponent. It's not up high like a superscript. It's going to be actually down down low, down below as a subscript. And maybe you've seen subscripts in something like the, um, here, let me pause for a second. Maybe you've seen subscripts in something like the slope formula. Remember the slope formula is y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. So these numbers, like 2 and 1, are called subscripts. They're not exponents. They're not up high. It's not y squared. It's down below. So those are called subscripts. All right. So down, right after the word log, right, so here's, here's the, like, the main line. So down below is going to be our base. So we're going to put b down here. OK? 
Okay, And then back onto the main line where the word log was goes the answer part. So in this case, it's a. And then on the other side of the equal sign is our exponent. Now do you see, look, I've got the exponent c completely isolated and all by itself. So a log, right? this, this left-hand side right here, this left-hand side, I'll put in a red bubble, this left-hand side is equal to c, and c is the exponent. Right? So that's why I'm telling you logarithms are just exponents. That's all they are. OK, so that's really, really important. Let me just give you a couple examples of this, and then uh, this video is done. So if you saw something, say, like, um, here, look at something on the homework. Right, if you saw something like this, Right? And what we want to do with this is we want to <coughs> rewrite it right, in its other form. Well, first of all, what form is this in right here, this, this thing that I've got? It's hopefully obvious to see that it's in logarithmic form because I see the word log. Right? I see the word log. So since this is in logarithmic form and I want to rewrite this, then I must be rewriting it in exponential form. Okay, so let's start with the base. What's the base? If you see this this whole form here, what's the base? Hey, the base is five. All right, and our exponent. We're going to take that base and raise it to some exponent. In this case, the exponent is this this number that's on the other side of the equal sign. Okay, so in this case, the exponent is a three. And we're going to set that equal to our answer. I call this the answer part here. The answer part is right on the same line as the word log. So that's just an m. There you go. And there, you just rewrote that log in exponential form. Okay, So I don't know what m is. 5 to the third power is some number, whatever that is. 125, I think. All right, let's try it backwards, though. Right? If, if we can do it that way, let's see if we can rewrite it backwards. Meaning, if I give you uh, an exponential form, let's come up with a clean sheet of paper here. Um, so if I give you an equation that is in exponential form, let's see if we can rewrite it in logarithmic form. All right, uh, let's see. Here's an example of one. Let's see. Here we go. I've got, um, OK, this is going to be a tricky one. Uh, we'll do it this way. <coughs> 3 to the fourth equals 81. That's obviously, I hope you see, in exponential form. All right, I don't see the word log anywhere. So if we want to rewrite that in logarithmic form, so we'll start with the word log. The base goes next as a subscript. In that case, that's 3. And then the answer part goes right on the same line as the word log there. So the answer part in this case is 81 and equals. And on the other side of the equal sign is our exponent. Right? So that's how a logarithm works. Um, it's pretty straightforward. And that is really the key. You have to understand how to go from one form into the other form. You know, if we give you exponential, how do you go to logarithmic? If we give you logarithmic, how do you go to exponential? You must be able to go from one form into the other very easily. Um, so study that really hard to make sure you understand it before you go any deeper into logarithms. Hope that helps.